Near My God to Thee is widely believed to be the last song played by the band during the sinking of the famous RMS Titanic. But two survivor accounts contradict this theory, namely Harold Bright and Henry Bartworth, both of whom were on the ship at the time and recalled hearing the band play Autumn, or a waltz type music. These two survivors testified that they both still on board at the time of the RMS Titanic sinking. What place will this take in the overall chronology of events? Why did they hear it and the others not? When did the band play Autumn? During the sinking, where was the band located? Let's start with the basics of where the band was stationed on the night of the sinking. At roughly 12.17 am, the band began to play music, beginning with upbeat music and then moving to patriotic tunes, according to survivors. There are many reports for both Near My God to Thee and Autumn as the final songs. However, first class passenger Helen Candy asserts in her testimony that she heard both in the final plunge, time frame, first autumn, and then Near My God to Thee. According to survivor accounts and on the book On a Sea of Glass, the band was last seen around 2 a.m. and they were originally playing from inside the ship at 12.17 a.m. but they moved out and started playing music around that time. It was also estimated that a large number of people were surrounding the band as they played their final pieces, though with the best estimates of around 25 to 40 people, or 30. Testimony of Harold Bride The ship was gradually turning on her nose just like a duck whose back goes down for a dock. I had only one thing on my mind, to get away from the suction. The band was still playing. I guess all the band went down. They were heroes. They were still playing Autumn. Then I swam with all my mind. The musicians were playing a waltz when Barksworth went down to get some items from, the, from his cabin just before the ship sank. They had vanished by the time he returned. The ship was sinking faster and faster so he flung his briefcase into the sea and waded in after them, wearing a large fur coat over his life belt. Eventually, he made his way to the overturned collapsible beam, but he was cautioned that if he stepped on board, he would flood the boat, so the, boat, so the coat and belt helped him. He was eventually able to climb on board the boat. Now, how does this precisely play out in, this two, in these two survival accounts? Both survivors swore that they were on both on board during the ship's dying moments. In other words, how would this support other testimonies if the Song of Autumn was actually the last song played? While yet according, according or accounting for the fact that the music played last during the closing moments or the final moments was most powerfully recalled. In the aftermath of the Titanic's final plunge, according to survivors, it took a minute before the ship broke up. Lightoller recalled she took a slight but definite plunge and only lasted about one minute before going straight up vertical. According to forensic evidences, the plunge is likely to have started at 2.15 am or 2.16 am, the best estimated time according to forensics and testimonies from people. Taking a different example, let's say you're in a market and one guy decides to play the radio in the middle of a loud crowded market. Try to stay with 10 to tw within 10 to 20 meters of the radio, the same distance as Harold Bride and Henry Barksworth on that night. The radio here, if compared to that night, would be the band. And if the loud market crowd was the panicking crowd or pan panicky and screaming would follow. Now you would still hear the band at this distance, even with the loud people screaming desperately as the ship took its final moments. Imagine yourself away from the market, about 100 to 150 feet away. A lifeboat at this distance, for example, collapsible D, it was still near the ship, but the song would be barely heard at this distance because it would be drowned out by the screams of the people trying to survive. Similar to how the radio would be drowned out by talking people in the market. Now this is a very good example because it is a very similar experience to what the passengers had. According to Barksworth, the band stood back as the water rose, but when the ship finally sank, he didn't hear them play any longer. According to his statement, the band dispersed after the waltz was finished and moved aft and kept playing till they stopped. Given that this is still a new theory that is being moving around, this would be a lot to absorb, but you will have to decide for yourself, Song of Autumn or Near My God to Thee. The question still remains. This is just a what if for you.